One of the areas we are trusting God for supernatural shift this year is the area of miracles, signs, and wonders. Job chapter 9 verse 10, the Bible said, God doeth great things past finding out and wonders without number. God does wonders that cannot be numbered. And we are going to experience many of that this year. Somebody who told me the other day, text, I think he sent a message, I think somewhere in this north central here. He said the number of miracles and things that God has done through this ministry, we don't even have an idea at all. Because a young man went to his village and a well-known blind woman was, he passed by the blind woman and kept on going, assuming and supposing that she was blind as she had ever been and was not seeing him. So the blind woman said, so and so person's son, why are you passing without greeting me? This was in Benue State. And the young man was shocked. Sorry, ma, and greeted. Then he went to one of the people and said, what's happening? Oh, say the woman is seen. Say since when? Oh, she went to crusade for Dr. Pastor Paul and then came for crusade. She went there, her eyes opened. Inside village. Wonders beyond number. Today, your own wonders will come. I know you have seen miracle signs and wonders in your life, through your life. But this year, it shall shift levels. What are the secrets of the supernatural? If I want to see God at work, like never before, what will be the secrets? Number one is the presence of God. Secrets of the supernatural, number one, the presence of God. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. And they went everywhere, preached everywhere, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the word with signs and wonders. With signs for the presence of God. First Kings 17, 1, Elijah said, Before God, whom I stand, there shall be no rain nor dew. If the presence of God in your life intensifies, miracles multiply. If the presence of God around you intensifies, wonders will multiply. Because the presence of God is the natural climate for the supernatural. What we call miracle is the normal things in, around God. Is the presence of God. Number two is the death of self. Anywhere self decreases, God increases. In John chapter 2, verse 21. The Bible speaking said, sorry, John chapter 2 verse 11, this beginning of miracle did Jesus in Cana of Galilee 
And he manifested forth his glory. Whenever self dies, the glory of God multiplies. That was what he said in John chapter 11, verse 23. The hour has come. 12, 23. The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. And what is the process? Except the corn of wheat fall to the ground and dies. It abides alone. But when he dies, if he dies, he bringeth forth much fruit. The reason why God has not shown forth in many people's life is because of too much self, too much pride, too much arrogance, too much tendency for vain glorification. John chapter 3, verse 30, he said he must increase but I must decrease if God must increase in you and around you you must decrease that person that wants to be praised that wants to be applauded that wants to be visible that wants to be overly popular that person that is struggling for attention must die so that God can have attention. The secret of the supernatural. People think that fasting and prayer is, is the number one secret. I put it as number last. Because you can fast with arrogance and pride. And ostentation and the struggle to get power. So that people can know you too are powerful. You are wasting your, your fast. It's the death of self. Anything that is competing with you in my life, Lord, let it die. Anything that will cause people not to see you in my life, let it die. Whatever is making me more visible than you around me, let it die. The death of self is a way to the supernatural. Number three is the power of the spirit. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you 